Yes. So what we are doing, going to do in this EACSM classes, we'll go chapter by chapter and go and understand first the basics. Sometimes people will say, sir, I remember that question, but I do not remember the answer. I do not know from where that question has been asked. I thought it was out of portion. All these things you cannot say in an exam called CA. Correct? Because we are in a professional examination. We need to exactly know from where it is coming. The most beautiful thing is they are not going to ask it in order. For example, chapter one will only be first question. No, it can be anything to anywhere. And the beauty is you are going to write EAS and ESM in the same time. You are going to jumble it between one and a half hours, one and a half hours. And it will be the seventh paper that you are going to write. And you know, if you are writing both groups, how many days after that you are going to write EACSM? Almost two weeks. Then only you will be writing EACSM at all. If at all you are writing only second group also, it will be like easily your sixth or seventh day. So the perspective that we need to have is how easily we are able to cover up this. After auditing exam gets completed, you should know from where to start EACSM. You know what is our most of the problem? If you guys have written the first group also, if you are done with the first group, you will know like after accounting, okay, where am I going to start my law? Correct? When you have taken my law class, I would have told the same thing because if you do not know the starting point, you will never know how to end. You will keep on be studying till the examination gets started. That shouldn't be the perspective. So what is the base for today's class? The base for today is very simple. The expansions of the chapters. What are the questions and heads of questions that you are going to cover in the chapter? And one-liners. We call it as one-liners. We don't call it as MCQs. When I say MCQ, we have choices. No choice is required when your concept has to be strong. So what is that? You will have to study it by way of filling the blanks so that you will ensure that when it comes to your uh, MCQs, if you see the options itself, you will, you will have fun and you will be able to find the answer very easily. In just half an hour, you will pass the examination and go. Correct? Now, how quickly you can pass the examination? Guys, three hours is the exam. When will you pass the exam? Three hours is the exam. When will you pass the exams? Uh, sorry? You will have to pass it in one hour. You don't need three hours to pass the exam. Correct or not? How one hour you can pass the exam? Any idea? MCQ will be there, no sir. MCQ will be there. How much marks? MCQ? 30 marks. 30 marks. Okay. Let's not try to be too much on it. 30 out of 30, let's not try to get. Okay. Leave some one or two marks to IC. 30 out of 30, we can easily get. Let's take 28. How much marks is remaining for you to pass in EACSM? 12 marks. 12, 12 marks. marks. Correct. 28 plus 12. Mm -hmm. I'm just telling you for you to pass. Not for an exemption or whatever. Remaining 12 marks are there. How many minutes will you take for you to complete 12 mark and get that pass mark? Some half an hour. Three questions you write. Four into three, 12 marks. 10, 10 minutes you write one question also half an hour. So when the exam timing is, for example, two o'clock to five o'clock, by three o'clock you have already passed the EACSM. Correct? So what you will do in the remaining two hours? is to complete and get an exemption or more than an exemption and pass it. Now, this seems to be simple when I tell you. It seems even more easier when you implement it. Correct? That's what people have done in the EAS exams on different, different perspectives. How quickly you are able to get the MCQs. Now, you cannot sit with the whole book and cover one, one line for you to cover your MCQs. For that only what we have done, I have given, I will be giving you one-liners today. You will concentrate on it. Only what I am going to tell, you are going to write. Other things you will automatically be getting as a recording. Slowly sit and study and then write it and finish. This is our plan. Correct? When you sit now, for certain things, I will say, please write it and keep. For certain things, I say, listen to the video two, three times, then write. Because if I am not making you write now, you will be sitting like this. You cannot sit like this for more than 45 minutes early in the morning. Correct? It is not going to happen. So when I make you write, you will have that flow. If you are not, if you are only listening, your mind will be thinking something else. When, when sir will leave me, 
will there will there be after time for me to have breakfast before the office what breakfast they think i think that is they are preparing upma or pongal all this and all you will start with you will be thinking when i am not making you right so that will never happen so you need to ensure that you should write but you should not write too much because anyways you are going to get this video also correct for people who are watching this will be getting this video and to